What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video we have some important news about Future Restore, a downgrade tool for the iOS 12 as well, is now compatible. And also we discuss about what is currently going on for the iOS 12.x jailbreak and 11.4.x. This is going to be pretty much a recap. So I'm going to start with the recap first because it's very important. And yes, I'm talking about Sorry My Bad and he's posting here. I made a video about this when it came out, but I posted that video at some ungodly hour and not a lot of people managed to see it, looking by the views count. So unfortunately I will have to repeat it in here, but it's a good thing because I get to provide more information. So as you can see, he posted in here, quote, I will release information once the patch release. Please note that this bug still not fixed in latest iOS version now. 12.1.2, and I think because the vocation of Christmas and New Year. So please wait. On the other hand, this bug can work under A12. Now this is actually a post which um, is an update to what he talked about in here on Timefoo Cup, where he pretty much achieved the jailbreak on the iPhone 10 by exploiting two different vulnerabilities, the first one being a use after free bug in the iOS kernel, which I think is the vulnerability he's going to release, and then of course a Safari bug, which was pretty much a type confusion in the GI or just-in-time compilation on Safari. So yeah, this is actually very important and very good. I asked him a few days ago if this vulnerability will provide the kernel task port or TFP0 and he said that yes, absolutely. Now at that point a lot of things started to get misinterpreted and of course a lot of people believe that that is all it takes to build a jailbreak. No, it's not. We will still need the post-exploitation part, which of course on iOS 12 would require to mess with core trust, which is a new security security technique by Apple and of course maybe other things as well and there is a lot of confusion on whether this works on the A12 devices or under the A12 devices and the biggest confusion is created by the fact that Sorry My Bad actually posted a few months ago a um, screenshot from an A12 device having Task Core P80 achieved but by the warning in this tweet in here in the update tweet we do not know whether this supports the A12 or not so for the A12 devices I I would definitely recommend you to not update your iOS version from whatever you're at and for the other iOS devices do not update to iOS 12 if you're not running iOS 12. Very important if you're running iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 11.3.1 or iOS 11.4 there is no need to update to iOS 12 at this moment especially to iOS 12.1.2 or 12.1.1. Now I'm going to switch to the downgrade related news. So if you remember yesterday I made a video about future Restore being updated to work on iOS 12.0 and 12.x so you can update from an older jailbroken version to iOS 12.x once a jailbreak gets released even if it's not signed anymore you know that iOS 12 version which will probably not be signed at the time a jailbreak comes for that version so yeah this is actually a very good thing that it has been updated however as I said in that video it doesn't support face ID devices yet and also that build was only for macOS thus pretty much limiting the people who can use it so a few hours ago Matt has posted a version for Linux Linux, which is of course much more accessible for everybody, you can install it on any computer and you can even dual boot it in, you know, some virtual box or something, so it's actually easier to perform the future restore on Linux than it is on macOS, because not everybody has a macOS machine and installing macOS in a virtual box is sometimes a hit and miss. So yeah, if you go ahead in here on SubQuest's uh, GitHub account in here, there is the release, you press in here and you will have the Linux version as well now, aside from from the macOS version. This is very much to allow the Linux and Windows people to be able to use the Future Restore for iOS 12. However, please do keep in mind there is no Windows version and there will probably be no Windows version. And that is because the uh, Future Restore itself, the official version coming from Timstar, doesn't support Windows at all, only Linux and macOS. And therefore, I do not think that Windows will be supported. Anyways, if you're running Windows, you can dual boot or try a virtual box with Linux and you will be able to perform the action just fine. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys. As I said, Sorry My Bad will release a very important kernel vulnerability and it's actually a very good thing for the jailbreak community. However, even though it provides the kernel task port, it's not all we need for a jailbreak on iOS 12, so do not update your devices for the moment. This is actually very good news, but as I said, we don't need to update for the moment. Thank you for watching guys, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. If you liked this video and the recap, please tell me in the comment section down below. Until the next time, peace out.